part of the day for people in class 10. Are you ready for English lesson? Good job! Please open your notebook right down today's date because today we have revision lesson. This lesson is not from your textbook. I want to begin our lesson with quote. It is not true that we only have one life. If we can read, we can live as many lives and as many kinds of lives as we wish. Did you remember? This famous quote from your textbook, not this year, but 8th grade textbook. Why I remembered it? Because today we have a revision activity about book genres. Can you remember the book genres? An autobiography, a biography, science fiction, novel, poetry, a detective story. You have discussed these genres with your teacher. Let's revise them. What do you think? What kind of genre is an autobiography? Do you guess? What about biography? Science fiction? Novel? Poetry? And detective story? Let's listen and then we have an activity. Are you ready? Unit 4, Lesson 1, Activity 2. 1. An autobiography is the writer's story of his or her life. 2. A biography is the writer's story of some other person's life. 3. Science fiction describes imaginary future developments in science and their effects on life. 4. A novel is a book-length fictional story. 5. Poetry is an imaginative and emotional writing. The words are arranged so that they have rhythm. 6. A detective story is a story about a crime and a detective who tries to find out who did it. Thank you, dears. As I said, I have an activity. What do you think? What kind of books are autobiographies? Is a writer's story of his or her life? What about biography? Thank you for your answer. Is a writer's story of someone other person's life? Science fiction? Good job. Describe his imaginary future development in science and their effect on life. A novel? Good job. Is a book lens fictional story? A poetry? Is an imaginative and emotional writing? The words are arranged so that they have rhythm. The last one is detective story. I'm definitely sure you all like detective stories. It is. Is a book lens fictional story? Activity number two. In this activity, we have very interesting task. Find a word in each gap so that the sentence means the same as the one in brackets. Let's do the first one together as an example. What do you get up in the morning? Time. So, dears, do you understand your task? Good job. Let's do in that case. It is like usage of English. The first one. The train leaves at half ten. The train leaves at 10.30. Half past 10. The next, the bus to town is gap late. The bus to town is always on time. Never late. The next, Miss Miss gap met in my school. Equal sentence, Miss Miss is a math teacher in our school. T 
teaches. The word teaches is suitable. The next, there six fax machines in our office. Equal sentence. Our office has got six fax machines. There are. Activity three, passive voice. Please. Look at the picture and complete the sentence. Use the correct passive form of the verb in the box. In this activity, please dears, open your notebook again and write down the verbs in the box. Because you cannot see them while you are doing this activity. The verbs are call, catch, find, investigate, rob and send. Did you write? You have to look at the picture and make the passive sentence using the verbs in the box. Look carefully. Pay attention to the sentence. At 10 o'clock yesterday morning, the local bank in the high street... Very good was robbed. Second picture. At a minute past 10, the police, pay attention to the telephone, were called. The next picture. A few minutes later, the police arrived at the bank, the crime scene, was investigated. The next picture, pay attention carefully. What word is suitable here? At 20 past 10, the robber's fingerprints were found. The last picture, look at carefully. At half past 11, the robber's were coat. Let's move the next activity. I have very interesting activity. It is like revising question words, which we discuss it together. Let's revise question words one more time. Who? Four people. How? Manner. What? Thing. Where? Place. When? Time. Why? Reason and purpose. Do you like sport and games? Very good. Answer as many of the questions in the quiz as you can in a minute. And listen and check your answers. Okay, dears. The questions. Here you are. The first one. What does the letter NBA mean? Thank you for your answer. The second question. Which of these countries has never won the football World Cup? Argentina, England, France, or Japan? What do you think? Thank you. The next question. What kind of ball do they use in the game of rugby? You know it? Thank you. The next one, how often do the Winter Olympics happen? Good job. Where does the sport judo come from? We use the question word word for place. What kind of place? Thank you. The next, how many sports are there on a dice? Well done. The next question. Who starts the game of chess? The black player or the white player? I'm definitely sure you know the answer. The next one. When were the Olympic Games in Sydney, Australia? Very good. Why are the 52 cards in a normal pack? 
Did you answer? If you don't know the answers, never mind. We have listening tasks. By the way, you can improve your knowledge about sports and games. Are you ready? Let's listen. A. The letters NBA mean National Basketball Association, the body which controls basketball in the United States. B. Argentina have won the World Cup twice. England and France have won once each, but Japan have never won the World Cup. C. The modern Olympic Games took place in Sydney, Australia, in the year 2000. D. A rugby ball is similar to the ball used in football, but there is one important difference, the shape. A football is round, but a rugby ball is oval, like an egg. E. The Winter Olympics happen every four years. F. The sport of judo is now popular all over the world, but it began about 120 years ago in Japan. G. There are 21 spots on a dice. H. The white player always starts in a game of chess. I. No one really knows why there are 52 cards in a normal pack, but one idea is that there is one card for every week of the year. Thank you, dears, for your answers. I hope you all liked our listening task and the information you, which you have learned. So, it is time for homework. Your first homework, as usual, make a list of the vocabulary which you have learned together. And the second one, write an example for each book genre from Uzbek literature. And the last one, write 10 passive sentences. Three for present passive, three for past passive. Don't forget to send your sentence to your teacher. Thank you for being with me. See you next time.